on History's Mysteries. We will be taking an in-depth look into the history of speakeasies during the Prohibition era. We will be following one man's journey as he experiences the underground of Chicago. I hope you will enjoy this experience as much as I did. Joe sent me. Code words and knocks were often used to gain access to speakeasies as a precaution to keep police and undesirables out. Okay, you can come in. So what would you like? I'll have a gimlet. During Prohibition, it was easier to transport smaller quantities of higher proof alcohol than it was to transport larger quantities of lower proof alcohol drinks such as beer. Because of this, the cocktail became quite popular. One cocktail, the Gimlet, was a combination of lime juice and gin. It's a good choice. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Customers at speakeasies often drank out of inconspicuous containers, such as teacups, to hide the fact that they were drinking alcohol in case of a raid. I think it's time to listen to some jazz. Speakeasies sometimes offered entertainment, such as live music and dancing. Jazz was very popular during this time. See you next week, Phil. Bye, Phil. See you next week. The new shipments in. Gangsters controlled the flow of alcohol throughout the cities and were the main suppliers of the speakeasies. Thanks, boys. Yeah, I do my own stunts. Thank you for joining us tonight on our exploration into the history of speakeasies. Join us next week for an in-depth look into where Walton really went.